gamers. I think I went too hard on the reverb, gamers. <laughs> God. Oh, I see you. <laughs> Get cabin. I don't know where he went. Oh, he, he died. Cool. Like, there are seriously a bunch of people who believe that, like, feathered dinosaurs aren't real because all of the feathered dinosaurs have come from China. It's a big Chinese conspiracy. First of all, that is not even remotely true. The first big evidence that came out of fucking, you know, dinosaurs and birds being connected, that was Archaeopteryx in Germany in like the 1800s. See ya. I am a hero now, don't steal my scissors. I believe dinosaurs existed but not that they should have been allowed to get married. You know what? You're perfectly within your right to believe that. You, however, are no longer within your right to live. <laughs> uh, I was going for the engineer, but I'll take what I can fucking get. Oh, hi there. <laughs> oh my god. Like, yeah, people just want to treat dinosaurs like they're one or two species. And not like an entire collective of very unique animals that had different traits that you have to review on a case-by-case -case basis for whether or not they had like, you know, any kind of hair coverings or feather coverings, anything like that. Um, no, give me a very easy answer. Like, yes, they all had feathers or no, they all didn't. All of them at once because they're all the same. Really wish I could hit that medic. Ah! <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm very glad the pyro didn't do the, the funny right click thing. Oh, fuck. What gods? You guys are awesome. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh my god. Someone stop me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Only a random crit can stop me. Rung Sagar Minon. Well, welcome. I can't pronounce your name, but welcome regardless. Oh, <gasps> uh, that's four. I right, fuck up. Beans, I'm sorry. I was trying to get this fucking annoying ass vlog pyro. I've tilted them by going loose cannon caber knight. This is like the least serious thing I'm pretty sure I could like possibly go. Get decimated. Huh? Oh, you fucker! You double fucker! Here. F 
fuck. No. Oh, you actually comboed me. Good fucking job. Good job. You fool, you're using the Liberty Launcher. I out damage you as a Kunai spy using the fucking Latranger of all things. Why would you expect me to be there? Why would you expect it? Oh my god. Damn it! No! What? Where'd you come from? What do you mean, nice stab? I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. Oh, I'm sorry, Heavy. Was that frustrating for you to be shooting at me, but then I backstabbed your clueless soldier and didn't die as a result of that? Was that frustrating for you? Oops! Sorry, I'm using the kunai. I feel so bad for this. This heavy is me. Literally every fucking time I fight a kunai spy. I feel so bad for him. Uh, like, I'm so bad at spy, but this stupid fucking weapon just lets me get away with the dumbest bullshit imaginable. Oh yeah, we got, we got some free health over here. Oh yeah. Again! Stupid fucking play! Oops, didn't disguise in front of a mini sentry. If only there was something I could have done about that. This weapon is so fucking stupid. It's so dumb. How much health did I just eat there? Yeah, the Heavy is their top scorer. And, like, he deserves it. He's good at Heavy. He's got good awareness. He's doing a good job. I do not deserve this. I am a horrible spy. That does not matter. I'm using the Kunai. I always feel like I have to cloak as early as possible. Just because there's going to there's gonna be that one situation where it's just like, Oh, there's one person who's way the fuck out of position and towards our spawn. Like that! Like, I cloaked at the exact right time there, but fuck me, dude. I would have rather cloaked earlier. <laughs> I played the part! I'm sorry, Beans! Or wait, are you Beans? Fuck. <laughs> Captain Face Tank lives again. Ah, damn. <laughs> that is so fucking disrespectful. That is some oh my wa mo shinderu shit. <laughs> just, just, just go, go that way. Go that way. Lure him out. I'll backstab him. Okay, I won't backstab him, but, you know, the, it was the thought that counted. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, Hanako Toast. Oh, yeah, I got the spy. I got him pretty sure the sniper there. But, hi. Why? Why? Why do people main this class? Why? People choose to do this. Oh, have we ended up fixing a lot of the issues with the with the Highlander server? That was a funny ragdoll. No teleporter. No! 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 The bug! I missed the pug! Oh, good. Y'all have my back. Maybe this is a good server.
Good job. You hit me with the old zesty Jesus there. Gam babbling. Gam blah blah bling. Tor dirty tor dirty tor dirty tor dirty. Oh god, I saw it. It's the fucking. Uh, uh, <laughs> and at least we got a festivizer. Another festivizer, sure. Can't complain. Hi, Bo, when'd you get in here? No, no, I did not. <laughs> Why? Why? The what read that one? Oh, speaking of the what, uh, Spy of Chungus, I don't know if you're in chat, but I saw you in, like, his most recent video. <laughs> like, he was coming up behind this one sniper that had, like, gray hair like you always do. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. I was just like, hey, maybe that's Spy of Chungus, and I saw it in the kill feed. Like, it is Spy of Chungus. What a crazy coincidence. Ah, <laughs> uh, it never gets old. It never gets old. <laughs> Get decimated. Oh, very nice. Very spicy. You're so incredibly annoying. Okay, he's dead, though. That's good. You're not, though. That's bad. Ah. <laughs> uh, hitting the wall. It just works sometimes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. I guess that's karma, but it was also really funny. Watch me get all bounced again since now blue has no people. Oh good, at least there's still an air blast happy pyro. I fucking knew it! I fucking goddamn knew it! Ugh! Gotta use that caber movement tech. Ah, damn, you got me. Incredible solar light Twitter impression. What are you talking about? I wasn't even talking. <laughs> I didn't even mention how the engineer should have, like, destroyed his teleporter. So he... <laughs> so he can get me more metal. No. No, don't, don't, don't. Oh, there he is. No, come on. No, come on. I'm gonna trick stab you. That was almost a trick stab. <laughs> oh, that was embarrassing. Do I also address cloak resistance a little bit? And like on top of that, just dead ringer resistance? Cause obviously. Oops. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pyro. There was nothing you could have done about that. I was using the kunai. Oh, that was awful. Oh, that poor Pyro. <laughs> That's such bullshit! <laughs> that was so dumb! <laughs> Uh, actually, that was a backstab. That was a matador. <laughs> like, when I can say that unironically, then I'll know. I've made it as a spy player. Do we go for the evil spy cap? Fuck! <laughs> that was so- That would have been perfect! Beans, you fucker! Bro! Thank you, Captain Face Tank. That was stupid. That was blatantly and objectively fucking stupid. Oh, I'm sorry, Scout. Were you doing a lot of damage to me there? 
What if you just weren't anymore? See you later, fucker. Why? Why would you spray there? What possessed you? Like, I think I saw, like, one of the first clips I saw of Dinosaur Revolution was, like, the Cryolophosaurus segment. I feel like I was fairly young when I saw it. Like, not, like, baby young or anything, but, you know, young enough. That was, like, a teenager or something, and it's just, like, even then I was thinking, wow, this is really anthropomorphized. Wow. God did not like you there, Beans. Ah, oh, styled. Come on, please, no. I can't be the only person! Come on, please. No, they're gonna get it first. Engineer, come on. We've got this. No, they've got five now! No! Yes! <laughs> this sucked! This is awful. Have I watched Doctor Who? Yeah, I stopped sometime around the, uh, sometime in the middle of the Peter Capaldi era. Because I just kind of got tired of it. I feel like I eventually realized the Moffatisms that were happening. Like, I realized I had a lot of questions, and I also realized they were never getting answered. So I just... Kind of stopped bothering. Like, I know Russell T. Davies is coming back. And David Tennant is also back as the doctor again for some reason, which I don't really get, but okay. Well, I feel like Jody is a victim of the, the recent and utterly fucking bizarre trend of not casting fans. You don't cast fans for your actors and you don't cast fans for your writers. And when the new like run of Doctor Who was initially starting, it was the complete opposite. Everyone was fans of the show back then. Like, Eccleston was a big fan of Doctor Who. Russell T. Davies was, I'm pretty sure. But, like, recently... That, that sort of mindset, despite being incredibly successful, has just utterly died out. Yeah, Jodie Whittaker got bad writing, but she also wasn't a fan of Doctor Who to begin with. So, I honestly think that was because, like, Chibnall sucked ass. And he didn't want anyone who could challenge him and be like, wait a second, Doctor Who is actually supposed to be like this, this, and this. She was meant to be like a yes man almost. If That's just my guess? Yeah, Whitaker, like, I do feel a bit bad for Jodie Whitaker just because, like, she does get, like, some of the worst, if not the worst writing the series has apparently ever fucking had. And a lot of people are going to attach that to her and her performance instead of, you know, the guy whose fault it actually was. But I mean, like, hey, you know, plenty of the, the older doctors, I think, definitely got the short end of the stick writing-wise. Like, I think Sylvester McCoy is one who really suffered from that. I haven't seen his run, because I haven't seen, like, any of the classic Who stuff yet. That's just, from, like, what I've heard. But some of them, like him and Paul McGann, people like that, they've gotten... A bit of a revival in the audiobook adventures, so hopefully the same can happen to her. <laughs> oh, that was dumb. That man was coming right at me with a knife. Oh, it feels good every time. It's satisfying, man. Cleaver combos are satisfying again. God! Ah, <laughs> oh. bro, I'm kicking ass. Oh, old school scout is back. Ooh, and bleated. <laughs> I got the med. All right, if you say so. He just jumped in front of that soldier. Everyone in chat needs to start having more diversity points. My chat is not diverse enough. Get a bunch of furries in there. Does that count? I don't... Does furry count as diverse? I mean, that usually means gay, so I'll count to it. I'll count it. 
Can confirm we bisexuals literally are the most hated group by LGBT people. See? Other than Tism, you're a straight white man, so diversity points are low. Ooh. Yeah, you're banned from chat now. Sorry. What does Ooh, that cringe. make you? Clever? Um, you're banned from chat. I'm the main character. I'm allowed to, <laughs> I'm allowed to be straight and white. We got the pub push going. Let's go. <laughs> what if I'm just retarded? <laughs> <laughs> well, then you fit right into chat. Yes. We accept you. Yes. You are so valid, so valid, so, so heckin' valid. Okay, culture, ethnicity, age, ability, body type, gender identity, and sexual orientation. So, culture, that's... Uh, Something other than... I, I, American, I guess? Yeah, because Americans have no culture. Yes, exactly. They just steal everybody else's culture. I mean, I don't think this guy, is he American? Because his name is Torbjorn, and that makes me think, like... Norwegian or something? Possibly. He's Jamaican, but that only gives him two culture points. At least I think he's Jamaican. Maybe he's American. No, you know what? He's he's black, but American. And that's what makes him have more culture points. <laughs> no, but wouldn't that just be ethnicity? No, because he... No, because he gets black points into ethnicity. He gets c more culture points for being an African-American. Uh... Because... You know, black people have their own unique culture. How many diversity points does fossil shrimp have? Well, let's see. Uh, culture. Prehistoric. I'm gonna give him a lot of points there. Let's give him at least three points there. Mm -hmm. Ethnicity. Crustacean. Five points. Age. 60 million years. Five points. Ability. Shrimp. Zero. No points. No points. Body type. Super sexy. Two points. Sh shrimp. Five points. Gender identity. Unknown. Oh, that's an easy five points. Sexual orientation. Ooh, I think he's probably heterosexual. I'm gonna give him one point for that. And there you go. Fossil shrimp is, is very diverse by Overwatch character chart methods. Body type segmented. 100 points. There you go.